Hi, I'm Sean Dye. Today we're going to work with uh, graphite. So it's a basic uh, pencil drawing, and I have a set of uh, all different um, grays here uh, from General Pencil Company. One of my favorite places to visit is the Grand Canyon, so I have a couple of photographs here that I took when I hiked in last year, and I also have a more developed drawing over here um, of a scrub jay with a canyon in the background on a, on a darker paper. So uh, I was looking through my photo references, and uh, this, this one here looks way into the canyon, and this one shows a little bit more of the ledge where you're standing, and I cropped it to be a little bit wider. So um, I kind of liked this one because I like the cluster of rocks here, and I like the, um, the, the, the kind of contrast between those two um, uh, areas of light and dark. So I'm going to use this one as my reference, and uh, I guess what I want to tell you is I, I, when I'm at a particular location, I have a digital camera, and I take just tons of pictures, all different angles. Um, I zoom in, I zoom out and I play with the exposure. And then when I get back to the studio, if I want to uh, do a painting or a drawing from it, I have lots of options. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually draw out the shape that I've established there. I'm using an HB uh, pencil, which is a sort of a medium hardness. I'm drawing on a piece of uh, scrap uh, printmaking paper that's uh, really great for drawing as well as printmaking. And it's a slightly off-white color. So once you have your uh, shape established, then you can start to break it down into, um, into the big shapes. So I'm going to look at my skyline, which is somewhere in here. And I have the big rock that comes down. It's a very important shape. And then the, the other parts that kind of dip into the canyon. A little tree there. I'm going to draw this ledge where the viewer is going to be standing. And I was hiking in in weather where at the beginning of the hike there was ice on the trail and by the time it was I was ready to turn around it was in the 80s. That was a lot of fun. So you can use a, a medium pencil to get everything sketched in. Then I'm going to go to um, some softer pencils and put in some dark shadows. So I've got a 6B and a 4B. And I'm going to look at my darkest darks here. Now, uh, what you can do when you're getting ready to do a painting is do several graphite studies and pick out which ones seem to work the best. Get some shadows all along the floor here. I'm moving my pencil in different directions. Try to show different shapes and textures. I'll go back to the uh, 6B here. Use a really light touch and just give an overall shading to that area. What I'm doing is I'm thinking about value. I'm thinking about the lights and darks that I'm going to need to be concerned with when I go ahead and paint this thing. I'm going to grab a 2B here. Actually, I'll do a 3B instead. I'm going to put this tree in the middle ground. The more times you plan out your composition and, and you actually practice a scene, the better 
you're going to be at it when you go to uh, do your finished version. So I, I'm a big believer in doing lots of sketches and studies before you get started. So let's go to some harder pencils and we're going to do some of that background stuff. So a harder pencil is going to deposit less pigment. It's going to um, be quite a bit lighter. So I've got a uh, 2H here. So we'll do some of these distant shapes back here. Now with a 2H, sometimes it's so hard it can tear your paper, so you want to be careful. I'm going to use a really, really light angle, or a light touch and a low angle to get some of these shadows back in here. Real soft value. And I'm trying to think about the direction of my stroke here, of all these uh, striations in the rocks. I'm going to go to back to my HB, that was my original pencil, and pick out some of the details in the rocks there. And you can sort of develop it now. I'm using a, a nice cotton paper. And the thing about that paper, the quality of the paper allows me to keep working it and get lots of layers. So if you're using um, a really uh, kind of inexpensive piece of uh, photocopy paper or something like that, for instance, you're not going to be able to get the depth and the layers that you uh, can with a nice piece of, uh, of good paper. And like I said, this was just a scrap that I had left over from another project. So you want to kind of look at the overall image and just see where you are. So I noticed that this area, whole area, has to get a little bit darker now. A little bit of value up in the sky if you want. softer pencil, redefine these rocks just a little bit, so I don't forget they're there. Got a few other little rocks lying around. And just show a little bit of the depth back there. And that's going to probably be enough for me to get a sense of where I'm going with my painting. So thanks for joining me. I'm Sean Dye. You can see more of my work at SeanDyeStudio.com. And you can see more free art lessons at TheCuriousArtAware.com.